I am a veterinarian that works with exotic pets, and here you can follow me through a typical rabbit neuter. First, we pluck or shave the surrounding fur and prepare the area with an aseptic scrub. Both testicles were injected with lidocaine for extra pain control. We place a sterile drape to keep our surgical site as sterile as possible. Here I am performing a closed method of castration with a scrotal approach. However, there are multiple other ways, each with their pros and cons. Some prefer an open castration, while some perform pre-scrotal incisions. Rabbits have open inguinal rings that allow the testicles to be withdrawn within the abdomen. With the closed method of castration, the vaginal tunic remains closed, preventing herniation. An incision is made on the ventral aspect of each scrotum. The internal surface of the skin of the scrotum is stripped from the vaginal tunic. Gauze may be used to help with this step. The ligament of the tail of the epididymis should also be torn either with scissors or using the fingers. Depending on the age of the rabbit and how developed it is, this may be relatively easy or take some time. Here I've sped up the process. A circumferential ligature is placed around the vaginal tunic at the base of the pedicle using 3 aught or 4 aught absorbable suture. The separation between the testicle and the spermatic cord, which includes the blood vessels and the vas deferens, is identified and clamped using mosquito forceps. The testicle is then transected distal to both sutures and the remaining pedicle is released back into the inguinal canal after checking for bleeding. This whole process is then repeated with the other testicle. The skin incision can be left open, just aligning the edges together for a few seconds, or it can be closed with tissue glue. Sutures in the scrotal skin are contraindicated as they can encourage self-mutilation. Lastly, we apply a small tattoo to mark that this patient has been neutered. Here I am with our lovely patient after he's woken up. Be sure to like and follow if you found this video helpful.